For which of the following tables are all the values of x and the corresponding values of y solutions to the given inequality? So we have this inequality that y is less than 6x plus 2. So we'll make a table here of the x values 3, 5, and 7, since all the answer choices use 3, 5, and 7. So we'll make a table here, 3, 5, and 7. And we'll find the value of y as if this were an equal sign. We'll just plug in x equals 3 to find the maximum value that y can be. So then we'll see, <coughs> we'll make sure that these y values here for the correct answer choice are all less than the maximum values for the corresponding x. So when you pl plug in a value of 3 for x, we get 6 times 3 is 18 plus 2, which is 20. 6 times 5 is 30 plus 2 is 32. 6 times 7 is 42 plus 2 is 44. Okay, so these are like the maximum values that y can be for the corresponding value of x, since y has to be less than 6x plus 2. So these are the values of 6x plus 2, and y has to be less than that. So answer choice A says that an x value of 3, y is 20. So 20 is not less than 20, so answer choice A is wrong, since y has to be less than 20 at an x value of 3. And an x, so answer choice B says, at an x value of 3, y is 16. That's good because 16 is less than 20. <clears throat> at an x value of 5, y is 36. That's not good because 36 is greater than 32. So that would not be a solution to the inequality. So B is incorrect. <clears throat> answer choice C says that at an x value of 3, y is 16. That's good because 16 is less than... 20 and an answer and x value of 5 y is 28 that's good because 28 is less than 32 <coughs> and an x value of 7 y is 40 which is also good because 40 is less than 44 so answer choice C seems to be correct <coughs> and then answer choice D we can instantly see that it's wrong because it's saying that an x value of 3, y is 24, but 24 is greater than 20, so answer choice D is incorrect. So C is the correct answer.